through candidates in Hong Kong who support the society over many years, uh, particularly in the backing of young people from Hong Kong during the Operation Drake and Operation Rally expeditions. In 1997, 20 years ago now, Rosie started her travels in following her bearing to 90 degrees north as one of the 20 amateur women in five teams who had been selected for a place on the first all-women's expedition to the North Pole. <coughs> After 73 days, she and her team finally stood on top of the world. Following on from those early days, Rosie has journeyed to the South Pole as part of a four-woman team and also solo, traveling 700 miles and reaching the South Pole in 43 days. Later, she undertook a solo expedition to the North Pole, journeying alone over the frozen Arctic Ocean for 84 days. Rosie traveled further than any previous attempt by a woman to reach the Pole. She battled conditions now recognized as the worst on record. After suffering gangrene in the first week, she amputated two of her toes with her leather in order to continue. You can see the link. <laughs> After 426 nautical miles, with only 1.5 further degrees to travel, 86 nautical miles short of her goal, Rosie made the decision to subjugate her own ambitions for the safety of the pilots. In picking her up later, she realized they would be risking their lives, landing on the fast and disintegrating melting ice. Her solo record of traveling this far to bearing 90 degrees north still stands. And with the changing climate, this record sadly may never now be broken. This year, Rosie is leading an Anglo-Chinese expedition to somewhere completely different. Across the hazardous and arid Tak Lamakan desert in the northwest of China. One of the largest and most inhospitable deserts, it is known for its extreme climate and challenging terrain. Incidentally, the first recipient of the medal in 1994 was British explorer Miss Caroline Ellis, who was a member of the first expedition to cross the Taklamakan Desert. <coughs> this remarkable woman is considered by the Scientific Exploration Society to be a worthy recipient of the Ho Tang Medal. And I would now like to welcome Rosie to come up and receive the medal. just for a few minutes to say, first of all, thank you to uh, Mr. Ho Tong in his absence, but it was nice to meet him earlier this evening. And also, Andrew, thank you very much for all your kind words. Although with all due respect to the Leatherman team, I'm not quite sure how far the Royal College of Surgeons sort of doors open with your <laughs> surgeons. <laughs> but, um, this award, and because it is for women and a very special predecessor with particular significance at the moment, but the medal is too, because I think really my first ever really inspiration, 